All right, you're just in time for another eBay unboxing. The sanctions for this month were lifted, and my monthly allow allowance came in on March 1st. And wow, this was like delivered overnight. And I saw this. The seller had this as a buy it now for $85. Really didn't know much about these type of things. And uh, the pictures were awful. They were god awful. It was all blurry. Uh, the, they used flash and the flash was reflecting off this item. So I really couldn't tell. And I took a chance. I made an offer. They had to make an offer button. I offered 35 bucks. And they went down from $85. So that's how much they don't know about this item, that they would be willing to just do that. But this could be a uh, shiz. It could be an absolute piece of shit purchase. And I could have just wasted my 35 bones. Or this could be actually something very good. Ill is that, what is that? I, I'm very OCD. Hold on, hold on. Uh, ill. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to throw up. Hold on. Oh, God. All right. OCD in the house. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, how do I? I don't want it on my counter. Hold on. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so we know one thing. I got a pube. So <laughs> the worst, if worst is, uh, you know, comes to worst here, um, I got a pube for free. Okay, uh, next, let's open this box and check it out. Now, I was hoping it might possibly, which the percentage-wise of this happening is probably 1%. Uh, I was hoping that this was actually gold, probably most likely brass. But, hey, you can dream, right? You can take a risk. Wow, double boxed? Pretty good. <laughs> for a tiny little object, they double boxed it. Okay. Aren't you wondering what it is? All right. You'll find out. A pube. Can you imagine this? A freaking pube. How does a pube get like on top of a box like that? Was this person boxing this item in the nude? I sure hope not. Okay. And here's our item. Oh, wow. It comes in a pretty jewelry box. And Nelson. Okay, Nelson, I got your pube. Nelson, uh, do you want it back? I, I mean, I could ship it back to you. Okay, so are we going to get any more surprises? Well, I hope it's a good surprise and not a pube surprise. And, uh, oh, I forgot. There's more tape on here. Well, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I guess you're going to have to wait longer. The suspense must be killing you. Not that you give a rat's ass or anything. And, uh, all right. All right. Now, which way do you open? Okay, this way. You ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. This is much bigger than I thought it would be. Let's try to get it open. The hooker gloves makes it near, uh, nearly impossible to get a grasp. There we go. All right. And this box, I guess, uh, oh, Jared. Jared is like a really known uh, jeweler. No, this piece isn't by Jared. He just had the box probably. Wow. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm going to look at this. This looks like a shell cameo. Yes. And if you look through the light, you can see the silhouette. Yes, you know that that's a shell cameo because of that. Now, how old is it? Hmm. Okay, so we have a tube hinge. You see that? It looks like a shape, like shaped like the letter T. And we have a C clasp. So that's telling me Victorian. Okay, so this is very old. It could be uh, as old as the mid 1800s. And uh, oh, wow. Okay, this is a beauty. Okay, let's get in there close. Look at that. Okay, so I don't know what goddess, uh, goddess this is. We'll have to do a little investigation. Now, this is very, very, very shiny. It could be brass. Believe it or not, most of the uh, cameos from the Victorian era or earlier didn't even have precious metals. So they weren't framed in precious metal. So don't always look at cameos if you're buying them. Oh, well, it's not real gold, you know. So it's, co you know, it's like, so, well, it can be considered costume jewelry in a way. Uh, fine cameos, of course, are in real 14 karat gold, but never actually uh, rate a cameo by the fact if it's in a real gold frame or not, because actually it doesn't matter. It's carving, baby, carving all day long. So we're going to actually check. Wow, that's actually a really pretty setting. This is very old. We have this like rope edge setting. Don't know if you can see that with these little flowers. And let's check out the relief. That's actually important for a cameo. This has a nice high relief. Don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to focus. Let's see if we can get a good focus here. And yeah, that's a nice high relief. Let's check out this side. And that's how you can tell that you have a shell carved cameo by the curve. So you'll see a curve in it. Very nice. We're going to investigate uh, more deeply this item. 
Okay, so this is absolutely gorgeous. For $35, this, I mean, this is really sensational. Let's just zoom out a second. Yeah, this is a beauty. You don't see a Cameo every day this size for $35. Um, this was a steal, an absolute steal. Now, could this, speaking of steel, could this be real gold? It most likely is brass. We're going to do a test, a gold test. We're going to check it out. But uh, the carving is bar none. It's really gorgeous. What I do like about the carving, let's try to get a tight zoom in here. So I don't know if you can see that. But do you see like the red rusty colors through her hair? I love it when they're uh, multicolored, not just uh, white. When you see different colors uh, going throughout the cameo, that is just really, really beautiful. So let's check this out. What goddess is this? I'm not sure. It could be, let's see. It could be a goddess, but I don't know which one. Hmm. The goddess of maybe, I don't know. The goddess of I don't know. How's about that? Let's flip it over. Now let's uh, investigate. Now a lot of times, if it even was precious metal, it would not be marked. The back looks like it's brass, but the front looks like it's made out of something different. And a lot of times these older cameos uh, from the Victorian era or earlier had mixed metals. And so the back would be made out of like brass or copper alloy or gold plated material. And then the front would actually be real gold. So uh, that is actually quite possible here. Let's uh, get a close up and check this out. I'm going to clean it and I'm going to test it. And then we're going to check it out. Now I am going to show you how big this is. And usually the earlier cameos, and when I say earlier, the ones prior to 1900 were large. Um, you always get a, got a large, much larger cameo. Why? Because very gaudy, very large and big items were in style during the uh, like mid to late Victorian era. And then towards about the 20th century, like 1900, 1905, 1910 and on, things got smaller and less uh, opulent and less... Uh, you know, decorated. My guess, how old is this? Now, you see the pin jutting out past uh, the frame? This is telling me that this is actually really old. This could probably have been made, I'm going to guess between 1860 and 1880. Not an expert here. So if you actually are and you're seeing this video, don't go chastising me in the comments and be a prick like that. You can uh, actually tell me nicely uh, what you think in your opinion. All right, so we're going to test this. I'm going to clean it. I'll be back, and we'll check it out. What is the value of this? Now, I got it for only $35. Huh? That was a steal. Uh, well, we'll find out first by checking the metal. Now, I'm not an expert jeweler. <laughs> Let's put it that way, but I got my Amazon stone, and uh, I'm going to start out at 9 carat. You always want to start at the lowest uh, testing solution. So we're gonna give it a scratch across the stone and if uh, the little scratch disappears, you know it is definitely not gold. Now, uh, I don't like doing this. I didn't clean it yet, by the way. I figured let's test it first. I don't like scratching um, because you, you really, you know, you're gonna, if, if, there's, if this is plated gold, it's gonna take some of the layers of the gold plating off, you're gonna see the base metal underneath it. I don't like that, but uh, we'll have to do it anyway. All right, so I want to get a deep scratch, as deep as I can get it. And this actually, that looks like it could be gold. And I'm praying and hoping. Let's get a tight zoom in here. All right, so if this disappears, it is not gold. And I'm going to try to put half a drop if I can. And let's see what happens. Usually within like a second, it just starts disappearing. And it's not disappearing. It's not disappearing at all, actually. Uh, you can clearly see this. Let's try to zoom in even better. And yeah, hold on. Okay, we got real gold, boys and girls. All right, so we know that this is at least 9K. Uh, really beautiful. Let's uh, try to get a close up. We know it's definitely Victorian. Look how the pin is jutting out on the side. Um, this was an amazing, incredible deal. And Oh my God, my neighbors are squeaking their dog squeaky toys. Fucking annoying. Okay. Uh, and uh, so yeah, so we know, uh, yeah, this is actually really great. 9K gold. And uh, what is its value? Well, I would sell this for at least $800 to $900 if I had an Etsy shop. I had to move because my neighbors, uh, 
annoying fucking dogs and their squeaky toys are just too fucking annoying. Do you hear this shit? Living in Long Island, your house is so close to your neighbors that you have to deal with this bullshit. You can't even make a YouTube video in peace when your own dogs are always barking. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and so, venting. Venting time. All right, so I would, uh, yeah, I would actually say that I got a really amazing deal. Uh, this is really super. And uh, all for $35. Thanks for watching. See you guys all soon. And why is my camera not focusing? Uh, let's try to find a better spot. There we go. <laughs> all right, guys. So long. See you all soon. And bye.